Hey man, I'm gonna say this as the first male in history. Fuck what a man want. In in this sense, are are you in love with the idea of your man, or are you in love with the idea of having a man? Because since I've been in middle school, I've asked girls why they do what they do for the for a dude, and it'll be like, oh, for my man, I do this, but I'll be like. You don't got the same man. That man gone. The last nigga gone. The other nigga. What happened to old boy? He gone. Like, it's just a, I, I don't know offense, but it's just, you, you able to start over, give all, I like to call it refurbished love. You give me the same refurbished, repackaged love, and then put it over here and be like, look, you like this? I'm like, I won't my love i want you to learn to love me you can't you don't know how to love me already stop trying to do the shit you did that didn't work so why would you give a man something that you gotta deem what's important to you what you will and won't do fuck what a man want a man will stretch your ass all over the place whatever he can get away with he gonna try believe that if you let them. But you gotta set them hard boundaries. Oh, you know, I know I'm not here to stereotype you, but you are young, so you a man can probably get away with more shit than a woman 35, 40 years old. She ain't going for shit, certain shit. She done been through that, seen that, got shit to handle. What's going on? I ain't got time for that shit. So I would be very particular on saying what my man want. No, you should be saying his name. The, that one man wants and setting your love up for him. Setting your whole plan up for him, not for this is what you do. Stop trying to overplease motherfuckers that ain't earned shit. Y'all have a lot of nurturing in you, but who you give it to is the issue for me. Who told you you supposed to give it to him? Mm. I might need a little... Now, I'm not talking about sex. But I may need your friendship. I may need your, your, your gifts that God gave you to some capacity. Even if I talk to you once a week, twice a week. It may be something in you, God, putting you that I need. Can I have it? Or you going to give it all to him? You're not gonna bless the rest of us because you like that's just for my man. But what he doing with it? What he, what he doing with your with your gifts? He trying to be the next what? He changing the world. Mm -mm. Your man gotta have a vision beyond you that you are being helpful with. Just getting a job ain't okay. There's plenty of men who got jobs who got more money than your man. So, what you gonna do if he don't come up with enough money? You gonna pay the bill? Are you willing to deal with that? Till he figure it out? Mm. I test your love. You know what I'm saying? But y'all ain't got there yet. I asked you another question, dude. You say he your best friend? Yeah. <laughs> can, 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 can you tell him you attracted to another man? Can I tell him I'm attracted to another man? Yeah, like, babe, oh my God. Bro, about swole in a motherfucker over here. But anyway. I couldn't do that, Sato. I couldn't. That ain't your best friend. Stop mislabeling. That's the nigga you like a lot. Okay? That ain't your best friend. You're not telling him the shit you're going to tell if you got a cool. You got a best friend, female? Yeah, I do. Don't you talk to her about shit that you wouldn't talk to him about?
The truth, hey, the truth, your truth is your truth. You got to live your truth. I ain't saying you got to act on your truth. I can look at you and say, oh, you look nice. I can spend time with you. I ain't got to touch you. I ain't got to do shit, but I can tell you, yeah. Watch yourself now. And I, that's, I, that's as far as I go with it. But I'm, I'm, you got to live your truth. Ain't nothing wrong with telling the truth. Now, if you still feel that way, while your heart's supposed to be with him, that's a telltale sign. And you're going to have to go, y'all, you know your relationship going to have more challenges simply because y'all not in the same city. You can't see what he's doing, for real. So it's a lot of trust that just got to be there. And what I don't, I know I'm only getting your side, I'm not getting his side. I need a context of, did anything in particular happen for that day he said he needed time? He was just answering this motherfucker to get it out the way. But he was showing, he was showing the fact that you could read his energy that it, yeah, and, and did you feel in, in certain ways that we can, you probably can control if you got some other shit going on and he was to call you, you'll still be able to give him that love real quick and be like, Babe, I just honest, I'm going, you know, I'm having a day. You wouldn't just get on the phone with some, oh, nigga, what? Hello? You feel? <laughs> so, did you take it personal? What time did you call him? He's into it. What is he? What is he supposed to be? Well, let me read. Re. What have y'all agreed for him to be doing for you? Like, well, he does he make over a hundred thousand dollars? That, that's not realistic. I, I wanna, 
live on the beach, but the last property I looked at, it was about 15 million. I haven't quite cleared that, so I stopped looking at the property, acting like I own the place. You feel me? Like, I didn't set the price, but the price is 15. They said I need these many assets, this and this. I don't have it. So, did you ask him why? Because you have your mother in your life, right? How long you been doing that? It's been two years now since I've been out. Ten years or so. Really four. Like when I went off to college in Boston. And then I had to move to LA. I was taking care of myself up there. But she was helping out with my rent here and there. Whenever she could. So, I mean. It was like once. Where like it was last year. My mom paid my rent up for seven months. And I had to pay for shit. So, my mom did. Give mom the props now. Feeling like a little, little girl only comes with her trying to run you based off her take, helping you. Right. Now, if she just was being mom and you were still doing what the fuck you wanted to do in life, you should be felt like my little girl. Um... The fact is, none of us were born rich or wealthy. I'm talking about making $250,000 plus, clearing it for years. That's decent money. That's decent money. That's not $10.8 million a year. That, that's just decent, good money. Two family households, that's real good, good money to be stable, but... This man is 27 years old, has kids, no kids? No kids. No kids. Have, what what does he do to make money right now? He does landscaping. He works for another person. Yes. And sometimes he does it on his own. What is his aspiration? He want money. But mm. I know he wants like he's stable, like, you know, so I wouldn't have to like worry about him like I don't know the price of living in Baltimore. But what part of Baltimore he's dating in? Because I don't think you, you, you haven't been to Baltimore before, have you? I rolled past it. Rolled past it. <laughs> 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 Yes, ma'am. I as well. Yeah. First off, shouts out to all my Baltimore people. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to y'all. But Baltimore is a rough ass city. Let's just be straight up. If you don't live in an area like most cities that you stay in Roswell. Most of Baltimore is like staying. Hmm. You know places that's a little hood here? I don't know how you move around. Yes, a There you go. There you go. That's the majority of Baltimore. But but worse. Worse. Do you know about the show The Wire? You're 24. You may not even have a clue. Go look at the first episode of The Wire and then we'll talk again. Abandoned homes, no grocery store. It's just not, it's not set up well. I'll just say that. <laughs> Their grocery store is the gas station on the corner. Whatever's in there. Yeah. A lot of pawn shops, a lot of beauty supplies, a lot of wow, okay mm-hmm, so if he's not already coming from a family of wealth or at least middle class family 
landscaping. Get into the money. What else he into? Gotta be something else. You gotta love something else than cutting grass and putting flowers in the ground. Because that's horticulture. If, right. if he loves the earth and he loves, if he can go deeper than him just planting plants, okay, maybe he has a passion for this, then he could excel in some specific that would separate him from everybody else. Because right now, I'm just being wrong. Mexican got landscaping down, Pat. What's going on? Does he have a crew? Like they got a crew? Because you can't landscape by yourself. Leader. Um, yeah, he has a crew. Um, he, has a crew. he has a crew. Okay. Mm, that's a good crew. Good bit. We got to get a smaller cup next time, everybody. We need you a little delicate cup. I mean, we do. I do your thing. You thug. You thug. I see. I see you. Like. Exactly. Like. It's, it's L I T E. Ghetto. Mm hmm. Shouts out to Coca Cola. Uh huh. Now, back to Boo Thang over here. You had the dreams. I know that. I'm not taking away from that whatsoever. First off, I always advocate the positive, but I'm a realist over everything. I don't. I. You can feel what you want to feel, but I'm. I still been on the turf, and I know what I know. I don't know what I don't know. So a lot of this shit is on some. I say about a three to four four month when we come back. Oh, this conversation gonna be totally different. Trust me, three to four months, easy. Once we we got this summer, summer. Oh yeah, they come out. He didn't have a girl. Most dudes who got a girl are more attractive for some reason to other women. Like they get a hone in that somebody else fucking with them, so they come out the woodwork. Now all them exes, all the new ones, gonna come out to cut for them. But I mean, they gonna come out to cut for me too. Because they you know, they stay in the cut for you. I mean, they stay in the cut for you. Stop it. Cause. Yeah. Coming back. Hold on. My bad. Yeah. everybody doing on social media this is the time where you need to develop hone in on your passions your ambitions I'm not saying you shouldn't involve a man but you got to do some real soul searching to see if this particular man is that man because